I'm Dr. Brett Osborne, board certified neurosurgeon, nutrition specialist, and featured BPI sports expert. So I want to kind of get into one of those things, but I want to try to dispel this myth about ketones because I think that's where there's a lot of confusion. People think that ketones themselves are some sort of magic fat burning, you know, chemical that if I'm even taking exogenous ketones, you hear people, especially if you go online, a lot of the newer products out there have a lot of BHB in them. And I think they believe that the more ketones that they're ingesting, the more that's going to help them burn fat, which is not the case. Matter of fact, actually, theoretically, you can burn less fat. Because if you're taking in a certain amount of exogenous ketones, why would your body need to convert anymore? No, and that's, and that's true, um, which is why I tell my patients, whether it's eating olive oil, whether it's using ketones, whatever it is, some f fat source, if you will, okay, like ketones, um, although it's not a fat, but we all know where I'm talk what I'm talking about. You induce the body to better burn fat or more efficiently burn fat, but that's it. And those studies that you're talking about well, they're impossible. Really, it would be. It's probably impossible to do that because if you're reading a lot of, you know, uh, BHB salts to be able to discern whether or not you're burning. Well, you, it's not impossible. You have to label it. You'd have to do like a nuclear study, and you can actually figure out whether or not your endogenous fat sources are being mobilized as aggressively, less aggressively, in the context of your consumption of BHB. So here's a crazy. So it's an interesting. But the bottom line is that you are stoking those pathways so that when you are sleeping, as an example certainly you're going to be a more efficient fat burner. So I always tell people, eat fat, burn fat. Eat fat, burn fat. But you can also say to somebody, eat ketones. You're not, that's not going to say, it's just going to, it's going to further stoke the fat burning pathways. And the only difference between ketosis and uh, right on the edge of ketosis is just you've pushed the fat mobilization uh, one degree further well, if you here, so it's here's, nothing magic so here's a distinction that i think that people need to understand so let's say because i read a lot of things especially with with products that have exogenous ketones in there say well if you slipped on your diet and you consume too many bad carbohydrates go ahead and take these and it's going to put you right back into ketosis which first of all if you're going ahead and you're giving your body that source of ketones which is just a source of energy but you still have those carbohydrates this, can't do it this, right this it's is not complete true garbage. <laughs> right. it's complete, okay. complete garbage complete right. garbage and that's what i've said uh to my girlfriend about how could they even how could you even say that it'll put you in ketosis you know why because the definition of ketosis is if you go and you pee on a stick after you drink a shitload of that stuff right, right? well you're gonna you're going to pee out ketones. Are you in ketosis? No. Oh, no. You're not in nutritional <laughs> ketosis. Actually, no, you're not. Actually, and here's, a, I think, an even more important distinction that people need to understand is that your body has to be in a fat-burning state 100%. before you can even be in true ketosis. And that's the definition of nutritional ketosis. You have to be. You right. are very robustly burning fat. Faster than you're burning fat on my modified ketogenic protocol, we are not in ketosis. Right. It's just... An extreme, and all the ketones are the the ketones. When you assess for them in the urine, in the blood, if you happen to be checking with blood, which is, by the way, the better way to do it, um, if you are have depleted your carbohydrates for X number of just let's say hours, and everybody's a little bit different, and the liver glycogen is gone, okay, that's going to be the signal for your body to produce ketones. But if you have not been in that state for X number of hours, and it depends upon your intensity of training, because there are all sorts of tricks. You can fast and train, and then you can drive yourself quicker into ketosis, right? You deplete all your liver glycogen. Um, so it has to do, it has to do with, with, with that, and that only. Right. You so, are not in ketosis if you drink something. Right. So excuse the language, but it's a total mind fuck for people to take in a bunch of BHBs, pee on a keto strip, strip see ketones, but have a bunch of, have ingested a bunch of carbohydrates, so you're not in ketosis. You are falsifying you are the test. You are tricking yourself. You're, you are. You're falsifying Absolutely the test tricking and, yourself. Well, and tricking yourself. And that's why I want to make the distinction that peeing out ketones doesn't mean you're in ketosis and it doesn't mean you're burning fat. That's 1,000% correct.